It says here, and see a certain one learned in the Torah stood up trying him, trying Yeshua, or testing him, and saying, teacher, what shall I do to inherit everlasting life? And he said to him, what has been written in the Torah? How do you read it? And he answering said, you shall love Yah, your Elohim, with all your heart and with all your being and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have answered rightly. Do this and you shall live. Isn't that interesting? So he quoted the first verses of the Shema. And of course, that's the great commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. And Yeshua didn't say, follow me. He didn't even mention himself. But he said, do this and you shall live. Now, what we need to realize, I mentioned it already, is that the Torah is a schoolmaster or a trainer that leads people to Yeshua. And Yeshua knew that. Yeshua understood clearly Deuteronomy 18, verse 18 and following. He knew that he was the prophet like Moshe. And so he knew that if this man would truly love Elohim by being obedient to the commands of Torah, that Torah would lead him to Yeshua. Let's read Deuteronomy chapter 18, starting with verse 18. This is Yah speaking to Moshe. I shall raise up for them a prophet like you out of the midst of their brothers, and I shall put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him, and it shall be the man who does not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I require it of him. So this is Yah saying, I'm going to raise up a prophet like you, Moshe, and I'm going to put my words in his mouth, and he's going to speak to the people all that I command him. And he goes on to say, the man who does not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I require it of him. I will judge him. Judgment will come upon that person who does not listen to this prophet that I raise up, the prophet like Moshe. And we know that the prophet like Moshe is Yeshua because it says so in the book of Acts. Let's go over and look at that. Acts chapter 3, beginning with verse 19. This is Shimon Kepha speaking. He says, Repent therefore and turn back for the blotting out of your sins in order that times of refreshing might come from the presence of the Master and that he sends Yeshua Messiah. So Yeshua is the subject here. Pre-appointed for you whom heaven needs to receive until the times of restoration of all matters of which Elohim spoke through the mouth of all his set-apart prophets since of old. For Moshe truly said, and Moshe was a prophet, for Moshe truly said to the fathers, Yah, your Elohim, shall raise up for you a prophet like me from your brothers. Him you shall hear according to all matters, whatever he says to you, and it shall be that every being who does not hear that prophet shall be utterly destroyed from among the people. And so this tells us very clearly that Yeshua is the prophet like Moshe. And then Yeshua says in Luke chapter 24, beginning with verse 44, these are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all have to be filled or fulfilled that were written in the Torah of Moshe and the prophets and the Tehillim concerning me. And so Moshe wrote about Yeshua, and Yeshua knew it. The prophets wrote about Yeshua, and Yeshua knew it. And much in the Psalms were written about Yeshua. Verse 45, Then he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures. 
All right. Now let's go over to Galatians chapter 3, and we'll pick up with verse 24. And this is the passage that I have been quoting a lot of in this message so far. It says, Therefore the Torah became our trainer. Another translation says, our schoolmaster unto Messiah in order to be declared right by belief. In other words, the Torah trains people to believe in Yeshua. And when you believe in Yeshua, then you are reckoned for righteousness. In other words, you are put in right standing with Elohim. But then the next dynamic of righteousness is right living. And that's what Yah expects of us after we believe. Verse 25, And after belief has come, we are no longer under a trainer. That just simply means when the trainer has led you to the goal, to Messiah, once you have that relationship with Messiah, you don't need to be led to Messiah anymore. It doesn't mean that once you believe in Messiah, you can become lawless or you could abolish the Torah or you can walk in disobedience. That's what religion seems to be saying. That once you come to believe, then the commandments don't apply anymore. That the Torah is abolished. Well, that's not what Yeshua has taught. 